What's up guys, Kenny from Kenny KTV. I just saw this post, I'm gonna give my quick thoughts on it. So UFC punishes Conor McGregor, removes him from December 30 card over Belter incident. And so this would mean that there was already a fight for him scheduled for December 30. Um So, you know, that would s suggest that, but they, so the UFC quote unquote punishes him and removes him from the December 30th card. So, so, so let's just go over the December 30th uh, card. Cause I believe that, I mean, what, what are they talking about? Honestly, they're going to remove Conor McGregor from a car that's not even set up. What is that? Saturday, December 2nd. So th there is even no card lined up for um, for the end of the year. And they're going to remove him from that card that, that doesn't even exist. Okay, well, cool. Anyway, so pretty much um, what happened was Conor McGregor's teammate uh, had a great fight. Um, ended up winning it. Conor McGregor jumped over the fence. I wanted to celebrate with his um, teammate. All of a sudden, the uh, the officials, you know, try you know, pu start putting their hands on him, like trying to push him and pull me from his friend. So one thing is, Connor shouldn't have uh, jumped over the fence. I think he should have just gone through uh, the gate. But that's that's besides the point. You know, he would have gotten in in that uh, cage regardless. Um, so I don't know why he jumped over it. Um, you know, it's just pure excitement, man. You know, he did the same thing with Artem, Artem Lobov. So, you know, it's not something he did for the first time. And all of a sudden, it's like we got like Tony Ferguson saying, like, he's looking for a way out because he jumped the fence. Like I said before, it's, it's not the first time Connor jumped the fence for his, uh, for his friend. It's not the first time, you know. Um, I believe people are giving Tony Ferguson too much credit, and this, I mean, it has always been like this, man, let me just put it this way. They always wanted to make, so, people make a star, and they let him shine for a certain amount, and then they wanted to, you know, try to break, break him down. They wanted Conor McGregor to be, you know, a star, he beat Jose Aldo. Okay, so, so in most people's minds, that was enough. He shouldn't have, uh, he shouldn't have, have uh, had any more success than that. Goes on to beat Nate Diaz and at, at, at a one sixty at, at one seventy, as uh, has two fights with him. Then um, goes up in division from featherweight to one fifty five to fight the world champion in Ed Alvarez, former belt or champion and uh, I believe K one, not not K one but um, dynamite champion. So probably the best lightweight the UFC had at that time. Obviously, he was the champion. He goes in there and uh, mauls the champion in two rounds. So people are like, you know, he... Um, they were saying he shouldn't have fought the champion. And made history. Uh, so pretty much what they're saying is they don't want to... They didn't want to see him win like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to... They didn't want to see him shine. Pretty much is what they're saying. Now... What that has to do with Tony Ferguson is they look at Tony Ferguson and then point the finger and then and then they say that's the guy to beat uh, the guy. Could he? Yes. Could he not? Yes. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is this: Tony is just trying to capitalize off of uh, what happened. He's looking for a way out. Listen, man, there was not even a card for you nor McGregor scheduled. What is he looking for a way out? You know, out of. It took you got. It took the top five um, lightweights. One year to get a fight done, and it wasn't even the top five lightweights that fought. They needed Kevin Lee, number six or seventh ranked, to fight number two ranked Tony Ferguson for an interim title. Interim. Before that, it was supposed to be. Khabib versus Ferguson. 
before that fight was actually scheduled and um, Ferguson uh, no could be pulled out then Ferguson pulled out of the Mike uh, Michael Michael Johnson replacement so you know anyway what I'm trying to say is this at that point of time Conor McGregor's last fight was more recent than Tony Ferguson's but what did they do they made an interim title fight so they can um, build up a bigger event so what I'm trying to say is this man the UFC is giving out these toy belts man in, in these interim titles man in my opinion there have been three legit interim world champions that is Carlos Condit um, Hanan Barrao um, Frank Mir and Conor McGregor himself so the four throughout the history of the UFC but uh, like but um between the between that period we've had the interim champion Jose Aldo and Conor was still champion of course then we had an interim interim champion in Max Holloway that fought interim quote unquote champion um Jose Aldo for the interim title you know <laughs> Uh, what else did we have? We had the middleweight, the fiasco with Michael Bisping and uh, Joel Romero. Um, what's his name? Uh, Whitaker. They have uh, an interim title. Uh, what else did we have? Um, yeah, we just had a lightweight uh, interim champion. I mean, these. These titles are toy belts, man. It's kind of annoying because these guys are walking around like they are the champ. You know, it's kind of crazy. Um, um, I mean, tch, look at this. Yeah, whatever. But I mean, I'm not trying to defend anybody here. It's just like the people are acting so dumb. You know. I think the main reason was because he was at Bellator, man. That's just the hon honest truth to it, man. If that, if his teammate fought in the UFC and John and Connor um got in the cage to celebrate with his friend, they wouldn't have said anything about it because he did it with Art. They didn't say anything about it. They were like, "Yeah, cool, man. You're you're out here supporting your teammate. Good job." But then it happens in Bellator, and it's like all a big fiasco and a big drama because like people. You know, try to frame him, man. They, they they try to set up something, man. With, with these refs, even with the official, they're like, yeah, he's like, the official is like trying to stop him from getting in the cage. Like, w what are you trying to do? It's like his trainer is already in the ring, or something like that, you know. But leave what you guys think in the comment section down below. This has been Keenan signing off.